control and its management. Today is the fifth day of the ongoing week and what we have started discussion over last couple of days is how to compute LW for different machine components. And just yesterday we started discussing how to compute LW for fan and in that context what I had mentioned is that such computations require a very organized and step by step way of approaching the problem and specifically in context of fan what I had mentioned is that the first step is to identify what type of fan we have. The second step is to figure out how does noise which is generated inside the fan gets out. So, we have to find the pathways through which uh, noise comes out. The third thing is then we have to figure out that what is the proportion of noise which can come out from these different pathways. So, once again I will draw the picture of a fan or actually a blower. So, that is it is sitting on a foundation it also has an input inlet, this is the outlet. So, the four pathways we had discussed were outlet, second is inlet, third is it can come out through housing. So, this is, uh, so this is one, this is two, one, this is two path, the third path is through the housing. So, that is housing and the fourth possible path is through the supports or foundation. These are four possible paths. And then you have to estimate how much sound possibly can come out from these four paths. So, the fourth path is through here. Okay. Now, based on experience of lot of people who have dealt with this noise and also available literature and also if you are a good engineer, you can always design a support in such a way that first that the vibrations which go into the foundation they do not extend larger into the room. How do you do that? Basically, the fan could be mounted on a foundation like this. So, the remaining room could have a separate foundation. So, it is physically not connected to. So, this is the foundation of the whole room and this is a separate foundation for the fan. So, physically this foundation and this foundation are not connected and because of that whatever vibrations are here they do not propagate into the room. So, this fourth pathway we can just avoid it and kill it. So, no sound comes out from here. Okay. So, the amount of sound which is leaking from this fourth path we can say it is negligible we can ignore it. Then what about these two paths uh, first, second and third. Okay. Now, imagine, imagine that the outlet is open and the inlet is open and of course, the body is also vibrating and what you would expect is that roughly half of the sound will come out because the amount of sound which leaks through the body, it will not be that large compared to amount of sound which comes through the outlet. So, roughly half of the sound will come from path 1, half of the sound from path 2 and there will be some sound which will come out through the housing vibrations and a lot of people have done studies and experiments and this is indeed what they have found out that L w for outlet. So, suppose it is generating sound uh, inside and the sound power level inside is L w in. Hmm? So, L w 
which comes out through outlet is roughly L w n and I said half. So, half means how much dB less? 3 dB less. So, minus 3. The same argument holds for uh, inlet also. So, L w inlet is L w in minus 3 dB. And then the question is how much sound comes through the housing? And the answer is it depends how strong, how stiff the housing is. Suppose the housing is very flimsy and it can vibrate very easily, then it will be a large source of vibration. Okay. So, it depends on the stiffness of the housing. So, L w housing is equal to L w in minus a number known as transmission loss. So, the housing when I fabricate or the supplier whenever the supplier who sells the fan, he will actually specify what kind of decibel loss will be there because of the housing. So, this number is going to be provided by the supplier or the vendor and again all these are frequency specific including data on transmission loss. So, so here I can, so what am I interested in? I am interested in L w outlet, L w inlet, L w housing because these are the numbers which I can put in in my equation to compute L p okay? because I am interested in finding out L p here. That L p will essentially depend on what is L, L w 1, L w 3, L w 2. right? So, I have to compute these. So, what these relations tell me is L w outlet is L w in minus 3, same relation for L w inlet and same and L w housing is L w in minus transmission loss. So, now what is L w in? Okay, what is L w in? That is the old, uh, question. To understand that, we have to now go to the next level of uh, detail and we have to figure out what kinds of noises would a fan produce? It will depend on its geometry, construction and all that stuff. So, internally what kind of noise it will produce? So, how do we find out L w in for fan? This is what we are interested in finding out. Now, think about it. So, you have a fan or actually it is a blower and it has lot of blades. So, you have to look at the construction and based on the construction you have to figure out what is what will happen. And of course, there is air coming in and air is going out from here. As the blade ro blades rotate, what do they do? When let us say this, this blade, this green blade, it comes to the outlet side, what does it do? Or forget this one, consider this blade as fan is rotating, what does it do? As it comes in front of the outlet, it pushes air outside. Okay. So, this blade will push air outside and then it will keep on rotating and when it is one whole revolution is complete, it will again push it outside. So, each blade will push the air outside based on how, what is its RPM or RPS revolutions per second. So, if there is, so if this uh, fan is rotating at some so many revolutions per second, each blade will generate, so let us say this number is n, then each blade will generate n puffs of air. Each blade will push air n times every second. And if there are lots of blades, then total number of 
puffs which will go out will be what? It will be n times n. Okay. So this is how air is coming out. Now it, uh, now as air is coming out, it is coming out in small puffs, and the number of puffs each second is small n times capital N. And because of this, the sound also comes out in puffs. Okay. So one type of noise which will come out from this will be having a frequency of this thing n times n. So, first noise component it will be tonal in nature okay. and what will be the frequency of that sound? It will be n times n. n is the RPS and capital N is the number of blades n is the RPS. So, this is based on some physical understanding of the problem, okay? so based on the physical understanding of the problem. So, first noise which will come out of this thing will be tonal, it will be like, it will be directly related to this frequency. The second thing is as noise air comes out, you know, it will not just go straight, it will also have some turbulence and it will not just come in a straight way okay? uh, because of turbulence and vorticity and all that factors. So, because of all that complicated motion of air, a large amount of noise. So, some noise will be having a particular frequency, but some noise will have all sorts of frequencies because when air there is a lot of turbulence, there is no fixed pattern around it. Okay? So, then there will be because of turbulence. and vorticity, we will also have broadband noise. So, what does broadband noise mean? That it will have a large range of frequencies, maybe it will start from 100 hertz, 101, 102 and it may go up to several thousand hertz. Okay. So, all sorts of frequencies will there be there, but on top of that, this particular frequency may be stronger that particular frequency may be stronger. So, again uh, we are still not doing computation, but it is important to understand the physics of the problem before we start solving the problem mathematically. So, this is what is happening. Now, based on this understanding, a lot of uh, peop uh, people have done experiments and they have come up with an estimate of L w in. Remember, L w out we have already discussed. So, we have to figure out if L w in and if we know L w in I can compute L w outlet. Okay. People have come up with a uh, relation for L w in and this is based on experimental observations and what is it and this is again a function of frequency and this is equal to L w broadband noise. So, I am just writing it broad because there is a broadband component to noise plus L w tonal okay, plus 10 log of 10 divided by q divided by q naught plus 20 log of 10 p divided by p naught. So, this is generated based on some experiment lot of experimental data, but it is consistent with the physics of the problem with this reality of the problem. So, that is why I did not show this directly. So, what does this relation say that the amount of noise which will be inside the system L w in sound power level will have a broadband element, it will also have a tonal element and what is q? q is the flow rate, what is the purpose of fan to provide air. So, if it provides more air, it will generate more noise, 
if it provides less air it will generate less noise. So, that is why there is this factor q and q naught is a reference flow rate and its uh, value is 0 0.472 liters per second. Okay. And similarly, P is the pressure of air which comes out of the fan, P is the pressure of air which comes out of the air. So, it is air pressure. If the com air comes out with a lot of pressure, we will have higher noise level, if it comes with less pressure, we will have lesser noise. So, that is what this relation is about and P naught is again a reference value and this is equal to 248.8 Pascals and then you will say well what is L w and L tonal okay? and the value of this it depends on the type of fan that is why I said earlier we have to first thing is we have to know what type of fan we are talking about. Okay. So, people have developed uh, some tables for different fans they have different values of L w broadband and L w tonal. So, what we will do is we will look at a table one such table this is a part of a table. So, this is a small part of a table there are 5, 6 more lines in this table, but I have just reproduced uh, this from a book and uh, uh, I have taken these data from this book industrial and noise control. actually industrial noise control and uh, the author is Baron B A R R O N. The book which I looked at was published in 2003 and this is from page 167. Okay. So, this book has a bigger table, but I just have captured lines for 5, 6 different five, 5 different types of fans. So, if it is a centrifugal fan with F C B blades forward curve blades, then L w B T, B T is tonal. Okay. So, I called it. So, this is L w tonal. The value of the L w tonal is 2, 2 decibels. And what is the value of broadband L w? It is at, so these are frequencies. Okay. So, these are frequencies. So, in 63 hertz band, these are central frequencies, 63 hertz band L w broadband is 40 decibels, in 125 hertz it is 38 decibels, 38 and so forth. Similarly, for different fans L w tonal is given in this table and also for different frequency bands the value of broadband frequency is also a broadband noise uh, power level is also provided. So, so you can get L w broadband and L w tonal from tables like these and once you get this information from here what you do is you go back to this relation and compute L w in for different frequencies. Okay. And once you know L w in you can find L w out and then you can find out other things. So, what we will do is we will now do an example, uh, so that things become clearer. Okay. So, here is the example we are going to do. So, what does the what is the question that suppose we have a forward curved blade type of centrifugal fan so we have this type of a fan huh? so we know what type of fan we have and it's rotating at its rpm is 552 revolutions per second oh it's revolutions per minute that's the rpm okay it is throwing out air at a pressure of, so what is the pressure? It is 190 Pascals 
and the flow rate is 1.8 cubic meters per second. So, remember here it is units is liters per second. So, we have to convert that in liters per second okay. and the what else and then the thing is that inlet and outlet are only through pipes. So, what does that mean that you have the fan and it is not that the outlet is just releasing air out in the open. You have a pipe connected to it and it is taking all that air somewhere else. Okay. Similarly, the inlet is also connected to a pipe. So, I am in the room, I will not have noise come from the outlet and neither it will come from the inlet. So, the only source of noise which will be there will be from the housing from the housing. Okay. So, that is why this thing is given. Okay. So, inlet and outlet are only through pipes and the other thing is find out L p L p. So, here actually I am not inside actually it says if fan is outside and location is 3 meters away. So, you are 3 meter away from the fan outside in the room uh, outside in the open the noise is uh, the outlet is going through some other pipe. So, you are not exposed to outlet noise same thing as in inlet noise. So, you have to find out L p. Okay. This is the question what else some more data is given the fan has 64 blades it has 64 blades its directivity index directivity index is equal to 3 decibels at at uh, all frequencies. At all frequencies it is 3 uh, uh, this thing uh, and the transmission loss. So, we have to compute how much sound is coming from the housing. So, transmission loss for housing is given in a table. So, we will actually write those values. So, transmission loss. So, what are the? So, these are frequencies and this is transmission loss in decibels. So, what are the frequencies they have specified 63, 125, 250, 500, 2000. 4008k. Okay. So, for these frequencies what are the transmission loss numbers 15 decibels 21, 27, 33, 39, 40, 40 and 40. So, all these data are provided and what do we have to find? We have to find this thing that if you place this fan outside in free space in free space then and you are 3 meters away from this fan what will be the sound pressure level which is LP that is what we have to compute. So, I think the time for today is over, but we will continue this discussion in the next class and we will actually solve this problem in the next class. So, that will make things clearer to you because now we have 
done a lot of background, it is time to do some number crunching. So, that concludes our discussion for today and I look forward to seeing all of you tomorrow.